Today I'm going to teach you how to set up Dreambox Learning to use in your classroom. The first thing you need to do to set up Dreambox in your classroom is set it up on your computers for your students to use. I put the link right on my classroom homepage, so my students just need to click on Dreambox and it takes them right there. You could also put a link on the desktop of your computers, set it as your homepage on your computers, or just add a bookmark, whatever you do for any other website and your students will be able to figure it out. When you get to the link, you're going to need to type in the username and password your school gave you. You can see mine's already there. And click Keep My Student Logged In if you're on a computer in your classroom. If you're in a computer lab, you're going to have to give this information to your students. Then you'll click Log In. Now, you'll see all the students I have set up are right here. Each student is going to select a pictorial password if they're young, and, a, and you'll select for older students a typed written password. They will actually have to click on their name and put this in every time they log in. So this is what will come up when they go to the website once you're already logged in. This makes your life a lot easier. You don't have to come around for your kindergartners and type your email and password in every time. Also makes it easier for your big kids because they don't have to remember a lot of stuff. And as a computer teacher, I can tell you they probably would not remember what you need them to remember because they have a lot of other passwords and usernames they're remembering. So for you to set this up, you're going to click on Teacher Dashboard. And you're going to go in. When you're a teacher, you actually have your own password. I'm using the parent trial right now because it's a lot easier to work with. On the home page, you can see the quick stats of each student. And then you can go into their details. And this really breaks down how each student is doing in their progress. And you can actually go into exact comparisons of what they're doing and how they're doing. But for right now, we're going to actually worry about the account settings. When you get your account, your district will have probably set it up for you if you did not purchase it. So you will want to set your own password up in account settings. You will probably want to put the appropriate address of your school if it has your administration building in it. Any phone number you want if they ever have to call you or you have to deal with technical support should be your information. Your school district may have also set you up for notifications every time your students meet a milestone. It will send you an email. If you don't want this, you should probably turn that off as well. Then you need to subscribe all your students. So you're going to click on student information. You'll have a set number of students that you can set up. So what you need to do is you need to go to, mine says add a free child. It'll say add a student. And you will just type in the student's first and last name. So let's say my student's name is Bob Smith. I type his name. I click start my free trial or start the student. I have to tell the computer that Bob is a male. And we're going to say Bob's a sixth grader. I put in the zip code of the school where they live and the time zone of the school. And then I'm going to say I want to go back to the dashboard. And I click next. And you will see that Bob is now created. And he's ready to get started. That's all you do to create the students. It's extremely simple. It's not very time consuming. And you're set up and ready to go. So when you go back to the main page, you'll see that Bob is right there, ready to be accessed. So it's very easy to set up, very easy to access, not a lot of work for you or your students. I would not worry about setting this up. It's not a lot of technical work, and it's a lot of fun and easy to use. Good luck setting up.